forget that in all of your lives, this is the first time that I've ever seen you praying. Who would have thought? Who am I? My dear, I am a god. The god of all gods, to be exact. But you already know that. You should, at least. Well, you would if you weren't so stubborn. I mean, you would be living in incredible eternity by my side if you didn't act like such a foolish human. <laughs> it's been hundreds of years since we last talked, and you still get on my nerves so easily. Of course you don't understand what's happening. I erased your memories of our encounters, after all. I wanted you to suffer for years and years without ever knowing why. And then it worked. Here you are, sad, miserable, and still beautiful. Just like the first time I ever saw you. Yes, of course we know each other. You were my first and last love, and the one that broke my heart. More than once, I should add. Look at me. You prayed for a solution, and I came. I'm the one that caused all of this. And I'm the one that can fix it. But it won't be that easy. I am still very upset about what happened. If you apologize and beg for mercy, however, <laughs> I might have some pity on you. You don't need to know what happened. Just know that you wronged me and that you should be very, very sorry for angering a god. It is my duty, as a deity, to punish a sinner. I just did what I had to do. It was for the greater good. For my greater good, of course. Yes, if you apologize to me... I shall stop making your lives so miserable. No more punishment. That is a promise. I understand why you are distrustful of me. That's what happens when you are backstabbed over and over again across multiple lives by everyone. Another one of your punishments, obviously. But a promise made by a god is right and absolute. I cannot go back on my word. So, you can trust me on this. No, oh, you will apologize. Really? Oh, well, that was easy. Maybe I should have come over to you some decades ago. Anyway, go on. Your god is waiting. Apologize, you annoyingly beautiful mortal. Sorry. That's it? A simple and bored sorry? You're not even going to try to sound regretful? I know you don't remember what you did, but you can be sure that it was horrible, tragic, unforgivable. And even though what you did was so terrible, I'm still waiting to forgive you. So try, at least, to sound sincere. Oh my, you are still so annoying. All this time, and you're the same person I met in your first life. Not even centuries of suffering can change you. 
No, I cannot tell you what you did. Because I don't want to. Yes, I am being petty. You deserve it. And I can see that you're still foolishly brave, seeing how you're calling me petty. How dare you? Well, you're right. It will be hard to sound sincere if you don't even remember what you did. But if I tell you, you will need to ask for forgiveness and sound completely honest. Do you understand? Good. So, your sin was... <sighs> oh, I can't even say it. That's how terrible and evil it was. I'm calm, believe me. You would know if I was mad. I'm just trying to find my words. What happened is still a very hard topic for me to deal with. And now that I'm finally seeing you after so much time, things are kind of overwhelming. God can be overwhelmed too. Stop judging my pain. Yes, of course what you did was that bad. It was the most cruel thing anyone could have ever done. No, you didn't kill lots of people. No, you also didn't cause a war. Of course you didn't sacrifice children to the devil. You're as creative as ever, huh? Well, I think I'm finally ready to tell you. Just don't be too shocked, all right? You don't remember what you did, so I'm sure you're going to be very surprised when I tell you. Okay. Here it goes. Oh, you. You rejected my love confession. Twice. Oh, wow. Are you so surprised that you can only stare at me and you don't even know what to say? I knew you would be shocked. At the time, I was too. And even nowadays, when I remember that time, I still get shocked. What do you mean, that's it? That's a big deal, you know. You rejected me, the god of all gods. Not once, but twice. Two. Dois. Double. That's a completely crazy thing to do. Yes, you rejected me the first time, and I understood, since I was in my human form. It was a very handsome human man, but human nonetheless. So, full of flaws as humans tend to have. But then I appeared before you again. This time in my perfect and glorious true form. And you rejected me. Again. In my god form. That's outrageous. Unacceptable. Ridiculous. How dare a mere human reject a god? That has never happened before. You're the only one who is stupid enough to do such a thing. So what if you probably didn't love me back? That's no excuse. I loved you back then, and I still love you. And that's all that matters. Yes, I still love you and want you, even if you don't deserve it. Uh, I really am too good for this cruel world. <laughs> Just because I love you doesn't mean that I would tolerate your insolence without doing anything. All of the other gods were made aware that you rejected me, so I had to punish you to show them and everyone else that I am not to be messed with. Exactly. All the times that you were tortured, betrayed, 
accused and heard in all your previous lies. All these things were part of the punishment for not loving me back. You might think that I'm cruel, but I was really hurt when you didn't want anything to do with me. You crushed my pride and stepped on my heart. All I wanted was to love you and get to know you and to be happy with you, but you never gave me a chance, not even once. You didn't even try to like me. You, oh, you really did apologize, and it even sounded sincere. So, do you really regret rejecting me? I, I say, you regret hurting me and not giving us a try, but you don't regret turning down someone that you had no feelings for. I can accept that. Yes, I accept your apology. And if I weren't a god, perhaps I would apologize to you for tormenting you for multiple lives. Maybe. Anyway, I will leave you alone now. You're free. Yes. No more punishments. And it's over. So, I do want to ask you something before I go away. Do you want to go drink a coffee with me sometimes? I know you like coffee. You've liked it for centuries now. I thought that maybe we can go and drink some and talk, you know? Just to catch up? I mean, I know what you've been up to, because I'm omniscient and all, but you don't know how I've been. Uh, things in the Divine Realm have been crazy. I have a lot of gossip to tell you, and I know that you like gossip too. No, oh, don't deny it. I have literally known you for an eternity. <laughs> What? <sighs> no, I won't get mad again if you say no. You shouldn't hold grudges. That's bad. Yes, I have held grudges against you. But I can, because, you know, I'm a god, and I can do whatever I want. Anyway, are we going out for coffee or not? <laughs> Great. Good answer. Ah, it is beautiful when mortals learn from their past mistakes. I'll give you some space now, darling. I'll see you tomorrow for our date. I'll even bring you some flowers. Your favorites, of course. I'm such a gentleman, aren't I? You're gonna love me soon, I am sure of it. Oh, and before I forget... I need to ask you one more thing. Not just a very simple question, really. Gold or silver for our engagement rings, love? Hello everyone, it's Prince Kyra, and thank you all once more for listening to another one of my audios. Special thank you goes out to all of my patrons, especially that of my precious pants. Mystic 37, Toka, Nikki Pele, Creek, T. Briscoe, Lunar, Vidowin, Michelle, and Lindsay Travers. Thank you all so, so much for all that you do for me. It truly does mean the world to me, patron or not. If you're interested in getting audios early or spicy extras, be sure to check out my Patreon. It'll be in my link tree in the pinned comment down below. Thank you all so, so much for all that you do for me. I have been Prince Cairo, and remember that your prince loves you all. Mwah.